this slideshow is all about rounding with sig figs. So your learning target is I can round to the correct number of significant figures. Rounding, it works the same as math class. So if the number after is five or higher, you'll add one to the previous digit. Or if the number is four or less, you'll drop the remaining digits. Okay, so what you just have to watch for is how many significant figures is it asking you to round to. So we have the number 2.314678. The number in parentheses is telling us how many significant figures should be in our answer. So we're going to take a look at the first four digits then, 2.314. So the number that we need to consider is the number after, so our fifth number, is 6, 5, or higher. Yes, right, which means we are going to drop our last digits and add one to our last digit for a final answer of 2.315. If we have the number 87.32 and we want to go to three sig figs, again, we're going to look at the first three. Those are the three places I'm going to keep. I'm going to consider the number afterwards. Is it five or higher? It is not. So we're just going to drop it and we get 87.3. 894 and we want to have two sig figs. So again, I want to keep the first two places. I'm going to consider the number afterwards. Is it five or higher? It is not. All right, so how then do I go about having only two sig figs, right? I can't just drop this number because if I drop it, that gives me 89. Is 89 the same thing as 894? No. So we will replace the 4 with a 0, so 890. Because remember that zeros at the end of a number with no decimal are not significant. So this zero right here is a placeholder. Again, why? Because 89 is not the same thing as 800. What about 1,234? And we only want to have two sig figs. So again, remember, I want to keep the places of the 1 and the 2, so I'm going to consider the 3. Is the 3 5 or higher? It is not. Okay, so this is similar to the last example. Can I just drop those two digits? Can I just say that my answer is 12? Is 12 the same as 1,000? It is not. So we're going to replace the 3 and the 4 with placeholders, again, they are not significant because there is no decimal in the number. What about 5.99? And we want to have two sig figs. So the places that I want are the five and the first nine. So I need to consider the second nine. Is it five or higher? That is a yes. So remember, we're going to drop it, but we add one to the front. So what happens if you add a 1 to a 9, right, carries over, so it's 6.0, 89.7, and you want one sig fig. So remember here, the only place we care about is just the 8, so we need to consider the 9. Is the 9, 5 or higher? It is, which means we are going to round, right, we're going to add 1. Okay, so again, can I just put 8? No, because 8 is not the same as 89. So I'm going to need to have a placeholder. And our answer will be 90. And our last example here is 0 0.00189. And I want to have two sig figs. Where are our first two significant figures? The 8, the 1, and the 8. 
Okay, so these are the actually first two significant figures we're going to keep. And we're going to consider the 9. Is the 9 5 or higher? Yes, that means we're going to add one here. So in my answer, it's going to be 0 0.0019. So why did I keep these zeros here? Because what are they? They are placeholders, right? Because 0 0.0019 is very different than saying 19. All right, so you're going to get some practice with this on Schoology.